Ooh, another glorious day at Tom's Garage. Hey, I actually uh, got up early this morning. Damn dogs are barking. They hear me. To cut my own grass. And it sure do pretty. It sure does pretty. And I missed two phone calls at nine o'clock just to cut my own damn grass. But today we are working on a little polling. It's a 97 model. Man bought it brand new and he loves this little tractor and he's had a problem with it. He thought his uh, carburetor bypassed fuel, you know how it goes and fills up your crankcase. But I checked his oil and it was not high, no gas in it. But what I did notice was his oil filter is completely soaked in oil. His air filter, I say oil filter. His air filter is completely soaked in oil. And 14.5 uh, single cylinder Briggs, one of my favorite engines ever. This one's an overhead valve. And these are prone to uh, blowing head gaskets. So we're gonna diagnose this thing. What I want you to do is watch, and make sure I got the old dipstick in there. Let's fire this thing up. <laughs> of the crankcase vent and when you pull the dipstick I don't know if you can see that or not but it's got smoke coming out of that so we have got combustion entering the crankcase and I bet you you've got your push rods on this side coming through this little galley and usually what happens is it blows the head gasket right there where my little pinky right there is and it goes into this push rod galley, which goes into the crankcase. Usually blows right there. So I'm going to pull the plug, do a quick compression test, and uh, we're going to go and do a leak down test on this thing. Okay, let's pull this spook plug out of there. And a the hot exhaust right there. Oh, let's see, that thing is kind of crusty looking. Looks like it's burning oil. It's not smoking out the muffler though. It's just coming out of the crankcase vent and out of the dipstick tube. So let's plug in our trusty little compression tester. I had this compression tester. I got that when I was in high school. Golly, this thing's old. Made by Sun Tune. You know it's old when Sun makes it. Remember the old Sun testers, automotive testers? Make sure you ain't got nothing in it. Let's walk around here and hit the old key. Okay, it's still spitting out smoke out of the vent. Hey, we got, well, oh man, we got almost 100 pounds of compression. That's good. Now what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to do a leak down test. I'm going to pull this valve cover and set it at top dead center where you know the valves are closed so we can do a leak down test. Let's see, I will use my handy dandy little, I got this on Amazon a while back, Auto Body Now, part number ABN2305, cylinder leak detector. Okay, well, let's find out what we got here. Let's see what we got here. There she is, ain't she pretty? We'll go ahead and hook this where the uh, and the spark plug hole, and then we can hook this to that. I'll show you. I'll show you. That just screws right into the spark plug hole, just like your compressor compression tester did. Screw it in there. It's got a little O-ring on the bottom of it. You don't have to use a wrench to tighten this thing. Just make sure it's snuggly. And let's see. Take your air hose. And we'll take this thing. Take this thing. Pull that down. See how it locks. Pull it down. And go all the way out with it until it stops. And then you can 
keep cranking this clockwise until this is set at zero or close to it. Watch the gauge move. There it goes. It probably won't go all the way to zero, but yeah. And then what you do is, let's see, I want to make sure this thing is, I'm going to pop this valve cover off real quick. Let's grab some tools. Grab my handy dandy little Craftman tool set. Let's see, which one's a 3 3 eighths right there. Well, I don't need the extension. All right, before I go any further, uh oh, well, I just about to say it's going to leak right on that hot muffler. I'm going to hit pause and I'm going to jack the front of this tractor up. I know you don't want to watch me do all that. Hang loose a second. Okay, what I'm going to do, take this hook, which I've got it. I don't know if you can see all the way up there or not, but I've got that thing bolted to the rafters up there. And all I do, I know the air compressor is going to come out. Oh, there it is. Turn that thing off. Let me unhook the, and let me raise it up a little bit more. There it goes. Okay, now what we're going to do, is we're going to lower this table. to jack up the front of the tractor that way all the oil just runs back because we're going to have to redo the valve cover gasket and all that good stuff there we go that's how i sharpen my blades too i just let the table all the way down and stand that tractor up and i can get to the blades okay right there make sure it don't fall and hit me all right now Pop this valve cover off. This one's got the gasket, and you can see it's leaking pretty good. Some of them have the sealer on it, which is pretty cool. I don't know if y'all can see that real well. I'm sure I've got my camera angle just right. I'm going to, well, I want to put this thing at the top dead center. Let me just take this back off so I can stick a screwdriver in it and I can see where the piston is and be careful don't wedge that screwdriver in there you'll you'll hurt it I just want to find the piston let's see I'm gonna grab this crankshaft pulley down here and turn the engine over see how that piston will spit that screwdriver out and don't wedge it in there Okay, now it's going back down. That's, that's all the way up. Are we on the compression stroke? Yes, we are. Because both valves are now closed. All right, now when I put the air to it, it may push that piston down and ruin my test. So what I may do is just take these rockers off, take the push rods out, because I'm going to have to do that anyway when I pull the head off. Okay, put your little leak down tester adapter fitting hose thing in the jigger there on there. Pretty snug. Want to do with the tester? There it is. Okay, we know it's top dead center compression stroke. Valves are closed. This thing is set at zero. So let's do this. Get some of this stuff out of the way here. All right, we're gonna hook it up. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Valves are closed. Let's see, where are we at? Where are we at here? And let me pause it and I'll show you. All right, you can actually hear the air coming out. You can see we are 
we are at 60% leakage and that is terrible. You don't want no more than about 10, 20. Well, I think 20 is a pretty good bet. But, where are we looking from? Oh, yep. It's going from the combustion chamber. It's going into this push rod galley right there. I can hear it. And when I put the valve cover back on it, let me show you this. Okay, I got the valve cover back on it. Let me make sure to put this back on there. Where's the little dipstick? Put the dipstick back in it. Make sure that's tight. I'm going to hold the valve cover back on it. And I can feel it coming out of the crankcase vent. Right there. Let me do one more experiment. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put a couple of bolts back in this. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Yeah, you can hear the air escaping. Usually I'd have this done by now, but I'm filming it and I want to show you guys. Now. I'll take this off. And I am going to put my finger over that and I want you to watch the dipstick to the tube right there. Yeah, they got it smoking coming out right there. So I believe we got a blown head gasket. Let's get this valve cover back off. I'm gonna get the rockers off and uh, let's let's take the head off, hang loose. All right guys, let's tear into this engine. First thing I'm gonna do is get this plastic shroud off, then I'll take this shroud off the engine. Gotta unbolt it from the gas tank. Alright, alright. Oh, this hurt my knee there. I think uh I think Uncle Bobby just did a well I know he did, he just did a head gasket video here just real recently. I guess it's head gasket season. Well, I like that little Craftsman ratchet. That thing is, yeah. Maybe it'll last me another 40 years like the last one did. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Yeah, this is my favorite engine in the world right here, man. I got one on this machine that I use for my personal self. It's a L head. It's, it's not an overhead valve like this one is. Good engine. I've had that engine since 1999. Never done nothing to it. Never had to. Never had to. Take this cover off. Dipstick tube out. I hope it don't run out the bottom because I ain't drained the oil yet. I ought to go ahead and do that, but I'm not. Yeah, oil level's low enough where it's not gonna run out. Oh, let's see. I think it should just come right off now. Oh, there we go. When you put it back on, it goes for a lot of engines. This little shroud that. That wind deflector there. Make sure it hooks in there just perfectly, like that. I see a lot of them coming in here. They've been taken apart. And they just—they're just flapping. 
Hey, there goes some parts. Okay, that's going to be a, let's see, I believe that's going to be a 10 millimeter with a Torx 20, I believe, or a 15, actually, 15. T15. It don't matter though, I'll just pop that sucker. Pop that sucker. Just loosen enough to do that to it. Do that to it. Pull that out. That one's aluminum. You can see how it has a lot of wear on this little plastic guide. I've seen them just get so thin, worn thin, they just bend over. I may replace that. And this one is stainless steel. I still got a pretty good bit of wear on it too. Make sure it's not bent. I mean, the engine runs good. Y'all gotta help me remember the steel one was on top. Okay, that's gonna be, let's see here. Is that gonna be a 3 8 That's gonna be a 3 8 also. Now what did I do with my 3 8 Here it is. Take the intake off. Take off. Let's see, it's gonna have another bracket right there. That's a 5 16 And 5 16 4 5 16 There it is. And this thing should lay over. There it is. Set that right there. Okay, and the exhaust. I got a special tool for that. That was gonna be a T45, if I ain't mistaken. I am, might be mistaken, I think it's a T40. All right, let's see, that's gonna be a T40. Uh, nope, that's gonna be too loose. Uh, no. Matter of fact, I'm completely wrong. That's a damn Allen head. Oh, let me find my Allen head. Let's see, I got it up here somewhere. Which one is it? That's not big enough. Not big enough. Little Allen head. Clutch tools. I believe we got a winner. I'm not going to hit that with the impact because it's rusty and I don't want to break the darn thing. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Take the muffler off. Money. All right, making them gators. Okay, now what did I do with my impact and my 3 8 socket? I lost that damn 3 8 socket again. Where did it go? Where did it go? Little three eight socket. Well, I have no idea where it went. There it is. I don't know who in the heck set it over there. Muffler bracket. Okay, I believe that's. I believe that'll be out of the way good enough. Otherwise, I'd have to drop this pan right there, and I believe I'm going to. I want to get that thing completely out of the way. I don't want to have to monkey with it. Don't want to have to monkey with it. 
Let's see, now we're looking for the hemp finch. Now, where did my little ratchet go? this one off the whole muffler is just going to fall. Y'all hold your ears, man, because this thing's going to swim all over the table, probably. Good. No, there's the little gasket. All right, get out of the way. All right, got that done. Now we'll get a, a three eighths with a half inch. Three eighths drive with a half inch. Hmm. And we'll get the three eighths adapter for the impact. Okay, everything is taken off. I'm gonna leave that one just loose. That way the head don't fall off in my hand. Lots of little bolts. I believe if I ain't mistaken, these head bolts are gonna be torqued to 71 inch pounds. And just make sure they're all the same length, same thread. That way they don't have to go back in no particular position. They're all the same. All the same. Did we get all of them? Except for that one right there. You can see how the bolt pattern is. Let me show you the head gasket again. You've got all these head bolts. You don't have anything here at all. So that's why it blows and I just shouldn't have touched it. Well, I'll wipe it down later. But that's why that, that's a weak spot. And that's why it usually blows right there. On these overhead valve engines. Now I may, I don't think I'll, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this cooling shroud off too. And I think there's one bolt way in the bottom that's gonna be aggravating to get to. Nope. Yep. Right there. Ooh, that thing's a booger to get to. It is. It is, it is. A little Craftsman ratchet wrench. That spark blue wire has been in my damn way this whole time. One little bolt. I can't even find it where yet. There you are. Getting it off ain't hard, man. It's getting a little bastard back in there. It's kind of tough. Because I got to get this out of the way because the head stops right here and you got to be able to get in there and clean. I may have to pull that old filter off to get to the other bolt. Yeah, I'm going to have to take that old filter off anyway. Is this gonna be right in the way? Come on, little screw, get out of there. I tell you, there is this unforgiving little screw. that little screw is about two feet long. There it is. It's right there. Oh God, let's see the other side. Get that out of the way. It's right there. And that little black wire going to that, that's the, that's the ground for the fuel solenoid.
I'm gonna leave it hanging on that wire right there. Get the shroud out of there. All right, see that little screw was right there. You got about that much room to work on that thing. Whew. Okay, we got all the bolts out of the head. We shouldn't have to pry it very hard. Nope, look at there. There goes the old, the old head gasket. There's the old head gasket, and look on the backside. Pa pow right there is where it blew. Right there. And you can see it right there. Sure enough, you can just hear it when I had the leak tester in there. You can just hear it blowing. See, it always, it always, there's just a weak spot. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing there. Huh. That's what it is. That's why the oil filter is completely soaked in oil. It was just feeding all the combustion in here and it was coming out this breather because if you put your finger over that, it'll burp oil out the dipstick tube. So that's what we are looking at right there. I think the compressor agrees with me. I'm gonna pull these little dowel rods out of here so we can clean, clean that. Okay, now all we gotta do is just clean this thing up. Don't get no dirt and goo down in there. Yep, it was letting, it was sucking in oil and yet it was blowing compression back out. So it was just a mess, she's sick. All right though, we're gonna get her fixed up here. And there's the head. Yeah, I was leaking between the gasket and the block, not the head and the gasket. We'll get all this cleaned up real good. Ooh, yeah, that valve cover was leaking. This is the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Anybody need a good craftsman hand blower? Let me show you this, guys. I'm talking about it. The pull, the pull string broke in this thing. You can't order the spring for this thing. You have to order, you have to order this whole damn thing right there. The spring broke and you have to order that whole housing. You can't just get the spring. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Get this thing all cleaned up. Place that gasket. Look at the oil that burnt to it. Leaky valve cover. I'm gonna hit pause. I ain't gonna make y'all watch me do this. All right, I got the old head cleaned up and degreased. All this is just burnt. Stuck on there, burnt. All right. I will show you guys how I clean this thing. My little brass wheel. Yeah, that's gonna be too abrasive. Yeah, I believe that's gonna be a little too abrasive. Let me get something a little softer. Hmm. I believe that'll be a little softer. Let's see if this is a little softer. Oh yeah, that'll do better. something wrong with this drill. Paul 
wash it up, boys. Then all I like to do, let's see, where is that little thing? I'll use a little, a little piece of scotch bright. Just kind of finish smoothing everything out. Just polish it up. Still got a good cross hatch pattern in there. That's good. Well, that does. It looks pretty nice. A little scratch right there. To be so old, this thing is in pretty darn good shape. I'm surprised. I don't know how well you can see that, but nice cross hatch pattern. There's no gouges. What I like to do is run my finger up the cylinder wall and see the rings never get no higher than about that right there. You can see where it stops. But I want to. You can tell how much wear it's got if there's a lip. And there's absolutely no lip in there. Huh, really good shape. That's why it wasn't smoking out the muffler. Look at that piece of dirt and stuff crapped in there. Clean that out. It's gonna make it run hot. Yep, that's good. Now I'll just bring it back up to top dead center. And when we put the push rods back on, now let's clean up the head. Now we'll clean the head. Let me find somewhere good to set this thing. I don't want to. Stick it in the vise, it'll hold it a little better. I'll just hook it down in a little flange right there, see if I can't break it off. Yeah, that's good. Drill, it keeps wanting to cut off.
Now, when I had the uh, when I had the leak tester on here and I had this thing pressurized, if one of the valves were bad, you would have heard the air coming out of the carburetor or the muffler, depending on which which valve was not seating. But there was none of that, so we know the valves are seating good. Okay. Little carb cleaner. Get all the oils off of it. Same thing to the engine. Nice and clean. I like that stuff, it just evaporates. It completely evaporates pretty quick. Residual. Nice and smooth and clean. All right, we're ready to put this bad boy back on there. Without touching it. With a little dowel rod and dowel. Locating pin, I think is what they call it. And the new head gasket. Make sure I didn't touch it. God, look at that big glop of grease on the damn thing. Grr. Not good. Not good. Just like that. Where'd all my head bolts go? Get all the little bolts started. Oh, let's see, I'll use that. don't think I'm going to run down with this. Stop right there. Be very careful you don't get these things cross-threaded. 
It's so easy to do when you're using a damn impact on, which I should not be doing. I'm gonna get cussed out on YouTube for that. Let's see one more. Okay. Now we'll grab the handy dandy little torque wrench. And all you want to do is just give it a good cross hatch pattern. We need about seven. Let's see. This one is in inch pounds. Yep. Just want to just find you a corner to start at. That a little bit. Other corner, a little bit. Go down here to this corner, a little bit, a little bit. Go down here, a little bit, a little bit. Just give it a good cross hatch. That's all you want to do. I gotta wash my hands real quick. 